What's going on, YouTube? So what we about to do is uh, adjust my lights. They are off. This one is okay. But I am going to tune that one a little bit. This one sets off to the right side. So when people are walking and stuff like that, when people are walking, uh, they tend to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hit with that light down on the sidewalk. I'm like, what? Like that sucker's way off. So I've been out here. I adjusted it a little bit, but let me show you guys. This is a 2002 GMC. Forgot to leave, turn my lights back on. 2002 GMC Yukon. Uh, this is not, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's most vehicles. Most vehicles, are, you know what I mean? You can do the same thing with them. Now, the way that you adjust these, some cars only have one. If you look at the headlight right above it, boom, that one right there should most likely, or at least on this model, it'll be your left and right. This right here, that one down in there, make sure you got a longer screwdriver too. That one down in there is going to be the one that make, make it go up and down. So you want to get yourself on something like this. You feel me? Look at that. See how that is? See? And it, it, it just a minute ago it was it was right in this area, but I got it. So I just put it in there, and a minute ago I was turning it, turning it clockwise. It's kind of turning it. Nope, hex no. Clockwise actually turns it to the right. So. I'm gonna keep going counterclockwise. And I think I about got it as close as I'm gonna be able to get it. It's almost there. All right. Now, as I was doing that, it raised up a little bit. Okay. So since it raised up a little bit, I want to bring it down about that way. Make sure you set your, the surface that your, your vehicle is on. Oh man, I've probably been having my hand covered, covering up this dang mic. Make sure that your vehicle is on a flat surface. Make sure that the surface that it is, that it, that you, that you putting this on is like a flat wall is even better. You feel me? But the reason why I use my garage versus a flat wall is because of that line. It's going to help me. You feel me? So. Let's try counterclockwise. Let's see what this do. All right, look like it's taking it down. Yep. Now the light is just aiming straight, like literally straight. Boom, boom. I, I still don't like that. I like for it to kind of go in just a little bit, like uh, kind of like factory. But I don't think it's too much of anything I can do with that. So, boom. Now this one, this one is, that one is straight as well, but it looks like I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to raise that one back up a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, let me, yeah, I'm going to raise that one up a little bit. So, boom. Because from this angle, they look spot on. These lights, I need to, hmm, let me see here. All right, they look about right. Let me go ahead and hit my brights and see what my brights look like. Uh, bright lights. There we go. Okay. So. Now, what I'm going to do is that helped me out a little bit better, too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this one back up. 
to match it. Boom. Boom. There we go. So that's the way you that's the way you do your lights. I'm thinking if I should bring that one in a little bit more. Let's see, bring this one in just a little bit more. See, now this one right here is counterclockwise. This is what brings it in a little bit more. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it, tune that sucker down a little bit. Boom. There we have it. Now our lights are adjusted. You know what I mean? If you, my Durango, it's a little different. You feel me? Um, Because it only has one little slot. I don't like that. I don't understand that. I could be tripping. Um, my Armada. Uh, this one has the two side, two slots as well. Um, and it don't, and it don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this, this one and this one is cool. That Durango, boy, when I put those headlights in there, you know what I mean? Mm -mm, yeah, that shit was hell. Or excuse my language for Facebook. Try to, I mean, not Facebook, uh, YouTube try to get me. But anyway, brights off, lights off. Okay, so, yeah, I actually need to go wash my babies, you feel me? Like, the Durango definitely need to be washed. I haven't washed that one in quite a while. The Armada and this one, I washed them both last weekend, something like that. I need to get this out too. So if y'all know somebody in the Oklahoma City area or the Dallas area, that'll get those out. This is one. This is two, and then here's three and four. Look like just your natural hail damage. But if y'all know somebody that can get this stuff out, do some cosmetic work, like right here, right here, um, right here. This car here comes from the previous owner. If you look like boom, boom. Well, this right here is supposed to be here, but this line, and this right here is not supposed to be here, but this line is supposed to be here. But uh, yeah, they come from the previous owner. If y'all know somebody who can uh, get those out in the Oklahoma City area, y'all let me know for real. Um, and then on the Armada, this right here, just a little scratch, a little scratch. I'm pretty sure I could buff those out. But yeah, that's the way you do your headlights, you feel me? Um, on most cars, man, for the most part, just play with it. See what you can, see what you can't do. Um, and there you have it. You know what I'm saying? Do it yourself. Stop taking everything to the shop to get it done because you're going to spend a lot of money. But anyway, yeah, there we have it. And uh, I'm going to let y'all get to it, YouTube. Peace.